In this video, we shall demonstrate the procedure of PIC line insertion. A peripherally inserted central catheter or PIC is inserted for prolonged requirement of intravenous medications and parenteral nutrition to ensure uninterrupted delivery. For PIC insertion, the articles required include spirit and betadine, gloves, 5 ml and 10 ml syringes, sterile gauze, sterile gown, surgical cap and mask, normal saline, a pick line, 28 gauge for less than 1000 grams, 24 gauge for more than 1000 grams, breakaway needle, measuring tape, iris forceps. The commercial kit contains the catheter, a measuring tape and breakaway needle. It is important that the personnel performing pick insertion wears cap, mask, performs surgical scrub and wears a sterile gown, maintains a sterile field and does the measurement beforehand. Veins in the anticubital fossa are preferred for pick line in an infant. Using a measuring tape, measure the distance from the planned site of prick to the acromion process and then from the acromion to the second intercostal space, just lateral to the sternal angle. This measurement approximates the appropriate location of the tip at the junction of the superior vena cava and the right atrium. Determine the appropriate size and type of catheter and flush the catheter using normal saline. Place the infant in supine position. Prepare the site using triple swab technique with spirit, betadine, spirit and also clean the entire limb. Place the sterile drape so that the area around the predetermined insertion site is exposed. Puncture the largest vein in the anticubital fossa with the needle supplied in the commercial kit. As soon as there is a free flow of blood, stabilize the needle. Then through this needle, negotiate the catheter using iris forceps up to the desired length. If the line appears stuck, try maintaining gentle pressure. If this fails, try holding the limb in a different position or flushing the line slowly using 5 ml syringe for a 28 gauge pick. Withdraw the needle over the catheter and only when it is removed, apply gentle pressure to the exit site to stop bleeding. This may take 10 minutes or longer. Split the needle and lift the catheter out of the partially split needle. When any bleeding has completely stopped, recheck the length inserted by checking the markings externally or measuring the length of the line remaining externally and once estimated depth is ensured, fix with transparent dressing. Check the patency by flushing the catheter with normal saline and observing free flow of blood on withdrawal. The syringe should not be less than 10 ml. Do not delay starting fluids while waiting for x-ray. It is probably safer to run normal saline until position is confirmed. Check catheter position by X-ray by pushing 0.3 ml contrast. Preferred position of catheter tip is at least 0.5 cm outside the cardiac outline for a small infant and 1 cm for a large infant. The catheter tip should be outside the pericardial sac and parallel to the long axis of the vein. A sterile gauze with a transparent polyurethane film dressing can be used for the catheter care. 
If the catheter site is bleeding or oozing, gauze dressing is preferable to transparent dressing. The dressing should be replaced whenever it becomes damp or loosened. Maintain the patency of the line infusing saline solution. The catheter should be removed or replaced in case of any of the following. Prolonged use, that is more than 6 weeks, unexplained leukocytosis, leukopenia, fever or suspicion of clapsy. Three or more repairs to the catheter because of leakage or breakage. Common complications include infections, especially with coagulase negative staphylococci and fungi, and phlebitis. Rare complications include ectopic placement with extravasation, which can be fatal, retention of the catheter, or cardiac tamponade, which may be fatal if the catheter is placed in the ventricle. Thank you.